Spitz TV News. What's really good, y'all? It's your boy, the kid, Red Spitz. We back with this week's episode, Spitz TV News. I mean, it was an action-packed week, y'all. So, you know, we got a lot to discuss, and we're going to get into that real quick. You know what I'm saying? Yo, so we must start with sending out congratulations. You know what I'm saying? All, all congratulations, healing energy, good energy, all of that, over to the new fam, the uh, Rihanna uh, 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 ASAP fam, I guess we're going to call it. You know what I'm saying? Rihanna and your boy ASAP Rocky, they had the baby. And so I know y'all been in the uproar about that one and excited about that one because everybody is. They posted all over everywhere. You know what I'm saying? You know. And the second is going to be people hanging out in the baby crib, under the baby crib, on top of the bassinet and all that for the pictures. Y'all already know what's happening. You know, but I just want to send a congratulations to them. You know, it's such a high profile couple and they're in the spotlight. And, you know, they seem to be handling it pretty well. So congratulations to the both of them. Somebody that's also in the spotlight and be handling things pretty well is your boy Kendrick Lamar. You know, a week ago he dropped his Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers album. And I gotta say, he followed up with another classic. You know what I'm saying? If you are not into that type of music, then I understand where you are coming from, but that's my opinion. This is my show, you know, to inform the people. And, uh, you know, the people sometimes want to hear what I think. And I think it was a classic, you know? And, um, you know, it's still fresh, you know? It just came out, so, you know, y'all let me know what y'all think, you know? It's definitely going to be album of the week this week all right uh next we're going to talk about the crime of the week or i guess the the lot the 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 arrest of the week which would have been gunner and young thug gunner and young thug have been arrested on rico charges down in georgia um i don't know what to say about this i just know that uh Rico ain't nothing to mess with, like Wu-Tang Clan. And I'm just gonna send healing energies and wish those boys good luck over there as well. Cause once the boys come and get you, you know, you're gonna have a little rough situation when it come down to beating that Rico. But I do say that uh, maybe things will pan out in a decent way because it's a state Rico instead of a federal Rico. And what I understand, a federal Rico is just, you're done, zip, zilch. Zero, stingy with the Nero, like Jay Z, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But when the state comes down on you, you know, it's a little bit more lenient, you know. But I definitely want to send energies to those brothers, um, you and hip hop, and uh, you probably got that target on your back, you know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, we at the point of the show where we do discuss the album of the week. And like I said, I mentioned Kendrick Lamar's Mr. Morale. And the Big Steppers album. And that's definitely the album of the week. Um, Listen, y'all. I find that we gain and we get a new piece to the blueprint. A new piece to how to maneuver and and, and level up out here when it comes to our greats in hip-hop. And and laying down, you know, just the the greats in hip-hop that really give you know, a real thought and care about the culture and want to steer the young ones in the right, proper direction. You know, they ain't really always on that demon time, but you know, sometimes they are, you know, because we conflicted as humans and we're not perfect. But uh, I think Kendrick Lamar brought that contrast as well as he, he, he just, you know, Kendrick Lamar doesn't sit in one lane when it comes down to his artistry. You know, that's why a lot of people consider him to be the top of the top. And I understand, totally. This album was action-packed. It was another piece to the blueprint to come up out here in these streets. And I loved it. My favorite song on, on the one was Count Me Out. 
um, N95 also. I mean, he's spitting those jewels. You know, another popular uh, joint out there was the uh, the one with it with the girls, with the guy and the girl were going back and forth. I can't really think of the name right now because I'm recording this in the car. But y'all get the gist of it, man. Y'all go ahead and cop the album. You're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, man, we're going to end the show on that note. That's this week's episode of Spitz TV News. You know, I thank y'all for holding it down. I thank all my supporters. Um, it's been a little while. I promise y'all that I've learned. I have learned the lesson. You know, and I'm going to stay consistent on it. I'm going to get one every week. Um, to all those that were waiting, I'm sorry about the wait, but I'm glad that you waited because good things come to those who wait. Be good to yourself and each other, y'all. Y'all already know what it is. And it's your boy, Rash Spitz. I'm out. I'm a holler.